When you joined us last time, we had just arrived at Lago Atitlan in Guatemala, widely considered one of the world's most beautiful lakes due to its setting within a volcanic caldera and its bright blue waters. Our camp at Passage Cap was incredibly beautiful, surrounded by tropical flowers and stunning views of the nearby volcanoes. While at Passage Cap, we discovered that Verizon back in the U.S. had actually not unlocked our phones, creating a big problem for us using local SIM cards. We took a water taxi across the lake to the town of San Pedro to get this taken care of and to get another taste of Lago Atitlan culture. As soon as we stepped off the boat, we were swarmed by the many vendors and guides that make their living from the huge number of tourists that come to San Pedro every year, just like us. Aside from being a tourist mecca, real life is happening in San Pedro, as evidenced by the many beautiful murals, shops, and schools. Having completed our recon mission and uncovering the extent of the problem with our phones, we headed back to camp. That evening, Ruth and I decided to have a bit of a date night, just the two of us, but of course with a few of the neighborhood dogs. Soon, we'd make a group mission together to the largest town on the lake, Panahashel, with our travel buddies Molly Mish and Where Would Will Go. You can check them out on Instagram and YouTube as well. Once in town, we explored the shops and soaked up the history and culture of this lakeside center for commerce. It's a bright and colorful place with something fascinating to look at around every corner. Is this cocoa rum with coffee? Oh wow, you're going you're going for it this morning. <laughs> it's different. It's stout. Stout? Yeah. It's a little loud. It's a little loud? Yeah. Okay. It's great though. I couldn't see myself saying that.
Back at the ranch, Dan from Molly Mish decided to chef up his replica in and out burgers for the crew. Yeah, plate. Yeah, Don't really commit. Plate with some hash. If you're like me, I like the sort of spot on the grill too. Okay, yeah. What do you need? I like it. Yeah. 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 I'm trusted with so much responsibility. I oh, know. Don't don't mess up the fries. I have to say they were surprisingly close to the real thing, given our inability to find all of the ingredients that we needed in town. What do you got there, honey? The only thing missing is a in and out birds in Guatemala. Fantastic. We all had a blast and no one left hungry, for sure. Gonna wash. Freak out? Great. I'm a little freaked out. Yeah, there's a lot of lightning. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Dang. oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? It's raining cats and dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Guatemalan wet season is upon us. Yeah, I think so. And we've had some crazy lightning and thunder too. Yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna see this kind of weather like every three days or so. Woo! I'm rowdy. Yeah, I'm really glad even though we only have this very limited space. <laughs> that we have. This that we have space. yeah, that we have this limited space. Holly Mish is over here. It's kind of hard to in. see. Yeah, they packed it in. And then Opus on the move is up the hill. And uh, we'll yeah, where would Will go is up the hill too. Oh, it's letting up. Maybe I can go pee. Rain and the thunder lasted well into the night, but in the morning the skies were clear and the lake was calm. We needed to head into San Pedro again to finally get our phones okay. operational, so once again everyone decided to pile into the water taxi and come along to explore. The first order of business was breakfast, or maybe replying to comments from subscribers. This is what happens when content creators get together. It felt great to get another chance to explore San Pedro. This place is truly a photographer's playground. trying to get SIM cards for our phone, going back and forth with Verizon. Uh, we finally got them, yay! So yeah. we can do things in Guatemala, like call people. It only or, took a week, right? Yeah, it only took a week, so not the best, but we got them. Yeah. Took, took. Uh, and uh, now we're good. Yeah, we're ready to rock. Yeah. This man was proud to pose in front of this mural of local figures. He said that the guy in the painting to his right is actually him.
Having spent the morning in San Pedro, we decided to walk the mile or so over to San Juan and see what lay there for us to check out. We'd find it to be a much more traditional place where old ways of life are still lived despite the tourist veneer. The textiles in San Juan are amazing, produced with thread and yarn dyed with natural materials. Chocolate and cocoa products are also grown and made locally, and Atitlan is a great place to learn about the history and methods used to produce them. choose between San Juan, San Marcos, or San Pedro, I would say San Juan. It's quiet and beautiful, clean, people are very friendly. Um, it has a way different feel than uh, San Marcos or San Pedro. Just feels really nice. Back on terra firma at camp, we all took a little time to relax. I think that we might be able to see Volcan de Fuego spewing a little bit. It burst about three days ago, so. Pretty exciting stuff. It's hot and buggy. And we're gonna go have burgers and a beer. And then we're gonna Splitsville tomorrow. Going to Antigua. 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 And look, here's Will. In the X. In the Gigante. Excursion. This place is absolutely beautiful. Be very sad to leave here tomorrow. Oh, I mean, come I on, are you kidding me? You can't beat this. Really tough place to hang out, get work done. And that's Vulcan San Pedro side there, perfectly cone-shaped.
Taja's cap. I feel a little sad about it, but uh, it's been fantastic. Wait, we've been here 12 days? 12, 12, 12 nights. 12 nights? Yep. And uh, it's just such a special place. Yeah. It really is. And, uh, you know, if we're ever anywhere near here again, we'll, we'll come definitely back. Definitely be back. Yeah. This place is beautiful. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. What it is. Yes. All right, so we're off to Antigua. Recently, the uh, volcano, what was it? Fuego? Vol Volcano Fuego? It erupted, so we'll see what we see. All right. We spent nearly two weeks at Adatlan, working, resting, and exploring the neighboring villages. But it was once again time to move on, and we pointed Pete southeast toward the Spanish colonial town of Antigua. Rolled into Antigua. Join us next time for a tour of Antigua. Getting money. Where we admire historic architecture. Unfortunately, one of the volcanoes uh, recently erupted. It spewed ash and gas. It's not very pleasant to breathe. Mingle with the locals. No, gracias, senor. and taste a few frosty microbrews that the city has on tap. Ooh. Antigua, I like it so far. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps under some burlap. Between, or no. Did Tubby, you, you were doing cute shit, and now you're not. Old. Is it so hot? It's so hot. So hot, baby. One, two, three. Crunch. But I don't have a baby. Uh, where was it?